as you guys can see, we got some more freaking samples in. This is dope, but before I get to any of that and also what the topic of this video is about, yo, what is going on, everyone? And welcome back to another YouTube video for any of you guys that are new here. My name is Levi. today's video, I'm going to be explaining to you guys why I made the transition from doing bodybuilding specifically to hybrid athlete style of training. Jordan Cole also made a video very similar to this on his channel. If you guys haven't checked his channel out, go check it out. He's one of my favorite people to watch on social media. I just think he's a really humble guy. He's cool. So Jordan, if you're watching this, you're dope. Anyway, yeah, let's get into the video and I'm not going to give you guys like the first reason why I transitioned. We're going to talk about this sample really quick because some of you guys know I've been working on like my own clothing brand right now and this is one of the samples we got in. It's pretty dope as you guys can see right here. It's a sweatsuit, like I said, coming out in the first collection. Screen print on top, screen print on the shorts. We also got the tags on the back and everything. Did a button instead of some strings and whatnot. So all you have to do is snap this together. Boom, just like that. It's kind of cool, something different. I just wanted to try something different. What I like about it is it keeps a lot of the heat in, especially during the cold, and it's not like restricting on my neck, but it just nice and circulating with some heat. We also got the pants on. I wanted to make this like a very 80s kind of style of clothing with some modern kind of like touches and whatnot. Pants right here, right? They cinch at the bottom. There's like this thing you can pull, cinches just like that. These pants are a little bigger on me. I probably should have got small. I usually wear a size small in pants anyway. A little clothing drop for you guys. Now, let's get into what the video is actually about. A good trust got me get so much until it's gone. Ah. Ooh. That last little bit gets you a little jittery. Woo! Right. Well, we just made it to the gym. We got back and shoulders today. I feel like I'm always recording back and shoulders. One of my favorite days for sure, just because my back is a weak point. Whatever like day I have that is like a weak point is usually my favorite day. I just like working on my weak points. First reason I transitioned over from bodybuilding to a hybrid athlete style of training. And don't get me wrong, I still like lift as if I'm doing bodybuilding, if that makes sense. Like I still focus on like hypertrophy work. I focus on, I would say similar movements that bodybuilders do. However, I just basically implemented like more endurance training and whatnot. Really that's about the only difference I've made. And the fact I've been a lot more cautious about my knees too. A lot of you guys don't know this, but ever since like I first started lifting, I remember from day one, like people would ask me, oh, do you plan on bodybuilding like your dad? Oh, are you gonna bodybuild like your dad? Are you gonna do the same thing as your dad? And my response always is like, I don't ever want to do bodybuilding yet. I did it anyway. I honestly fell in love with it at one kind of point in my life. It was when I first started like social media and everything. It wasn't like I was into the sport of bodybuilding. I was just into like, oh, that would be cool and cut, be cool to cut and get ready for a show. I never was like in love with bodybuilding, like the art of bodybuilding. I still think it's cool, but I'm not like, I don't know how to explain it. I'm not in love with it like some of my friends are. Being said, all I'm really known is bodybuilding. So for me, I felt like I loved fitness, but I never really knew why. We're gonna head in, we're gonna finish this workout up because yeah, we got to. I wanna finish some things earlier. I'm trying to go fishing tomorrow morning, so I gotta set up my pool and everything. Fingers crossed for a Chinook tomorrow. If you catch it, you guys will see it in a couple days up on here. But without further ado, Let's get on inside because we also have a run too. I got a lot of crap going on today. We got this new protein powder, it's relatively new, it's been out for a little while now. This vanilla, I don't know if you guys can see it, vanilla peanut butter. I think that's kind of an interesting. Nice. I think it's pretty good. I had it yesterday, but it wasn't a it wasn't able. I wasn't able, I mean it wasn't able. I wasn't able to mix it up all the way because I didn't have a shaker on me. Okay. Taste test. 
Personally, second favorite flavor. Well, yeah, second fa favorite flavor to have on its own it goes chocolate. The chocolate's really good for some reason. This one, and then the strawberry. We're also going to go run. Now, before we go run, I'm also having a banana with the protein shake. I just don't like to run on an empty stomach, especially after a workout, because after a workout, glycogen is low, so need to refuel it somewhat, and I don't want to like lose my muscle from running right after my workout. Before I went into the gym, which is another reason why I switched my training around, was because I truly just liked the motivation factor behind working out. Like, I remember as a kid, whenever I would do like any sort of working out, hold on, let me fix this. Anyway, whether it was like a sport I was doing, like football, soccer, whatever it was doing, if I heard like a song for an example, right? Like a hype song that I would listen to when I was working out back then, I remember I would like close my eyes and envision like highlights of me playing that sport with the song and like make a video in my head about it. It's always like the motivation behind fitness, the grit, the everything that's super tough about it. So I'm trying to say is like, I like to try different things out, especially if I find it really motivating. So I did with this, I just found it very motivating. So finished up a three mile run, just cooled down and stuff for a little while, but my GPS didn't even work. Like literally didn't even like, I can't even show you guys anymore because it's just back at the time, but didn't even work. Sometimes like if you're moving, cause I was trying to run and just like let it do its thing, but it didn't even for like the whole three miles. And I did a really cool, easy three miles just because like we did legs yesterday and they're still burning. But one of the things, I don't know if you guys ever caught up on when I was doing like my last 75 hard. Some of you guys know I'm in the middle of 75 hard right now. I read a book called Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. And that book taught me a lot and it also inspired me. And when I get inspired by someone I like to, I would say, imitate their actions just because what they've done has had a really big impact on me. And then I want to like, I would say take their impact and put it onto someone else because I think that I just want to make this world a better place. And David Goggins is definitely someone that's doing that. And some of the things that he was doing, obviously if you guys know who David Goggins is, he's done like ultra marathons. He's done like the pull up record. He's done some pretty crazy things. And so since he's been like an endurance athlete, I wanted to do it. And his whole like reasoning behind it was, really good. I liked it because I felt like it was something I needed in my life. So like I've been getting into camera and hands and stuff and endure and like endurance training. And I feel like it just helps your brain. I would say to be more patient with things because you know, life is tough and you know, working towards things is tough, but you know, eventually you get to that spot where you're done. And that's kind of how running is during the run. It's tough. But then at the end, it's like, Ooh, that was awesome. That's super rewarding. So that's one of the reasons or another reason why I switched to a hybrid athlete style of training. Man, we literally just like, uh, just a few seconds ago, I was finishing up a couple things for Kill Bill. Uh, things are getting pricey now, and I've been like having to like space out the drops, which is like a really good thing because I feel like I was like, okay, I'm gonna do month to month, and then I was seeing how much like everything was actually costing, and I was like, damn, this is getting really expensive really quick. So right now, I'm just kind of taking a chill pill, stepping back from it really quick just so I can give it a little bit of a breather um, but anyway I'm gonna wrap up this video and explain to you guys why I switched from a hybrid athlete style of training to more so of a bodybuilding style of training and the last reason is because I hate being out of shape and I didn't realize that until I had to get back into shape and for me being in shape isn't necessarily going on walks like when I think of being in shape I think of you know running like when i run like i don't feel super gassed and out of breath right afterward i mean whenever you kind of do a little jog obviously your breath's going to increase and you're going to be taking in more oxygen and whatnot but i feel like whenever i have to get back into shape for something it just sucks realizing how out of shape you are like it sucks being out of shape and that's another reason why i switched my training over this could just be a personal thing but for me i always feel like there's been some point in my life where i'm like okay i'm gonna start running again because i've always enjoyed running i've never necessarily hated it and so then when i get back into it it sucks to like have to get back into it and every time i've come back to it i've noticed it's harder for me mentally to get back into it and so you know i realize like running is one of those things where i feel like if i continue to do early on in my life that when I get older and whatnot, and it's gonna be harder for me to, I would say, get back into something because regardless, when you get older, things just get harder to do. Your body just isn't capable of doing as much. Like your body is dying slowly every single day, 
but if I can implement that habit, it will just make it that much easier to do as I get older so I don't have to get back into shape. Granted that I don't get like injured or something like that. But that is gonna do it for today's video and that is why I decided to switch over. Um, before I do, I would say, end this video, I do wanna add a bonus and it's something that Jordan said in his video and it's about being functional and I think this style of training just helps me to be more functional in my day-to-day -day life. Um, like I said, being in shape is huge for me and although I'm not like running everywhere, it is nice to, I would say, be able to like do certain other activities every once in a while and be in shape enough for them. Again, I hope you guys like this video. If you guys did, be sure to give a like. If any of you guys are new here, do not forget to press that subscribe button because you guys know I will be back. As always, see you guys in the next